Durban has a growing international profile and it's anything but a cultural backwater. A number of world-class musicians have accepted invitations to perform with the KwaZulu-Natal Philharmonic Orchestra, including the tabla maestro Sandeep Das. We were there for the performance and to meet the soloists. The City Hall has long been the home of classical music in Durban and has hosted guest artists from across the world. It has also established a reputation for exploring musical territory far beyond the boundaries of Europe, as was the case when Sandeep Das brought his tablas and his talent to a recent concert. This unusual pairing of a symphony orchestra and classical Indian percussion is a perfect example of the Philharmonic's inclusive approach. As the CEO and artistic director, Bongani Temba explained. It is an orchestra uh, embedded in excellence and uh, community engagement. We believe very much in doing music that reflects our heritage. We have a very special guest tonight, Sandeep Das, who is a tabla player from northern India and one of the most famous tabla players in the world. And he performs with Yo-Yo Ma and the Silk Road Ensemble. And he's here to perform a concerto for tabla and orchestra. German-Dutch conductor Arjun Tien is a frequent visitor to our country and has a long and happy association with the KwaZulu-Natal Philharmonic. Well, I've been very lucky and, and happily been working together with a lot of, a lot of great musicians. Um, well, this evening it's Sandeep Das, which is definitely one of those great guys and great musicians. Sandeep Das took center stage for the performance of the concerto for tabla and orchestra by the Sri Lankan composer Dinak Gujaratni. Sandeep is recognized as one of the world's foremost exponents of the tabla, but his introduction to music was the result of a complaint from school. It started with my teacher, my class teacher, calling my dad and complaining that I've, I've been disturbing the class, either tapping my feet on the floor or the desk. My teacher asked my father to take, take me to a doctor, but instead of taking me to a doctor, he was wise enough to get me my first set of tablas. When playing, Sandeep is completely at one with his tablas, and he is absolutely clear about his relationship with his instruments. What does the tabla mean to me? I would say it's as much a part of me as my breathing, walking and day-to-day and -day life. And that's my biggest excuse to make friends all over the world who have become part of my life more than my own blood relations. Sandeep was still a teenager when he performed with one of the legends of Indian music for the first time. My first concert with Pandit Ravi Shankar, I was a 15-year-old kid who had grown up hearing that huge name. But funnily, I wasn't told that I was playing that concert by my guru till an hour before the show. But that experience took the fear out of the word fear forever. Sandeep is unequivocal about his love of music and feels that thinking in terms of categories can be artificial and unnecessary. You know, if you think about it, it's us who have divided music into different categories. But if you just remove those, music is what? It's picking up something, it doesn't need any language, and you have fun together. So as long as you are ready to open your ears to the other person's music, it really doesn't need any extra effort to find common ground and you get together and have fun always. So it doesn't matter where I am, I find that common ground very easily because I think it's very important to have fun first, so I always have that.
it actually makes you to appreciate other people's cultures, even if you don't understand everything. We should embrace all cultures uh, and, and appreciate uh, what the country has offered us. It was really, really, truly enjoyable. Plenty of uh, different cultures uh, melting all together in, uh, in the best way that you can see. And, uh, this is the Rainbow Nation, fantastic. There's a space for everybody here. It was wonderful. It was one of those perfect Durban evenings which brings together so many different cultural traditions, so many different kinds of people, so many different kinds of music, and mix it all up in a way that only Durban can.